Hello everyone, Clayton speaking. I uh, thought it was about time I did my video for Nick's Terrain Challenge. Um, so what I am doing is uh, pretty ambitious, but anyone that's seen my previous videos will know that I don't do things by halves, so if I'm going to paint or create something I'll just go stupid and try and do, uh, well, I'll, you know, I'll just try and do things that I don't see other people doing, so um that's just because I'm a nut job pure and simple so what I'm going to do is um as you can see here on the in the middle of the screen is my bone singer um that's an original metal bone singer and then down here I have one of the rogue trader harp players which I've had since I don't know late 80s and Undercoating him is about as far as I've ever gotten with that miniature, so I thought it's about time I did something with him. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, focus. Okay, so I mean this this is just paper, it's just a representation of sort of what I'm going to do. But um, so around here, around here, this is going to be inside a craft world, and I'll have little alcoves in certain spots just on the back wall side wall and basically these two these two parts here will be open just so you can get a I guess a, a panoramic sweep of what's going on with inside the diorama itself the bone singer will be center this little guy will be off to one side playing his harp and then what they will be doing is I will have bits of I've got 10 wraith guard here so inside the alcoves um, using some some green stuff so what I'm going to do within the alcoves is I'm actually going to have the bone singer accompanied by his musician friend and they will be Wraith Guard in various stages of development. So basically, they'll be these two guys here will be singing the bone. All of the structures will be all will be curved, Eldarish looking, you know, high off Rivendell sort of deal. Um, and then the, the bone will actually be coming from inside. So you'll go down, there'll be an alcove here like that and then the bone will be coming off the walls and forming forming the wraith guard so I don't know how many wraith guard I'm going to use at the moment I'll probably look at I don't know I don't know how many wraith guard I want to use for it to be honest um, I've got 10 here I'll probably use five because I kind of want to build some wraith blades so um, I don't want to use all my wraith guard um, but yeah there it is guys that's um it'll be the halls of the dead basically inside of a craft world um, these two little dudes playing some music and building some wraith guard it'll all be in all three colors as well so that you can expect lots of um, lots of black obviously from me um, bone um, there'll be there'll be walls in between the alcoves, there'll be there'll be solid walls, gemstones, uh, Eldar script and whatnot painted on there. All a lot of freehand stuff. Um, this guy here, so his paint scheme, you'll be looking, you'll be very close to this guy. Um, like I said, lots of bone, blacks. Not sure about his cape on the back here. Probably do a bit of free hand work on the back here, maybe the eye of Ulthway. Um, and this guy here, old school dodgy miniature, but um, by the time I trim him all up and um, I might do a little bit of conversion work on him, he should look pretty cool. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, let's see how I go with this. Um, that should be alright. Be a bit of fun anyway. Um, we got a month to do it, so yeah, it'll be fun. And uh, yeah, thanks, Nick. This is um, 
a good challenge, mate. It's, it's certainly going to get me to paint two miniatures that I've had for a long time and never bothered to do anything with. So um, they, they won't be static on the diorama. They, I'll be able to remove them, especially the especially the bone singer. Um, these guys here, like I said, I'll probably use five wraith guard because once they're in, they'll be green stuffed in, and then that'll be it. They'll be there forever. Um, so yeah, there we go, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Um, cheers. Have a good one.